this is day nine and Tara just woke up yeah <laughs> look at that her cheeks <laughs> say hi hey do you want to say hi uh. hi today we are going to make sugar-free baileys or keto baileys call it how you want it i know there are lots of people who cannot have sugar due to diabetes so it's not only for those who choose not to have it and we are going to make it so if you have diabetes and i'm not sure how you are with the alcohol but you can basically make a virgin uh, version of this instead of whiskey you can add some almond milk and or even water I found the recipe I think we added water but the best is to add some almond milk and um, I was gonna say, ah, oh yeah, some rum essence or whiskey essence. You can even buy, I think, some Bailey's essence uh, online. I'll see if I can find any and um, add it in the description box. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or you can find it in the shops, and uh, it will give you the kind of sense the taste of having alcohol in it but you can have it virgin or if you're pregnant that was, this will be a perfect recipe if you miss Bailey's um, I am trying to cut out on sugar because uh, yeah I had way too much this month so we are going to make it together I will leave all the ingredients in the description box uh, this is not a recipe that I invented I saw it uh, going around on lots of different websites I will link one of those because I am in a group that is called easy keto UK and if you are thinking of going keto um, it's a great group to join on Facebook. It's not only for UK people, but the people in there, they are so, so lovely. And there are so much good advice if you don't know where to start. But yeah, if you want the sugar-free Baileys, just uh, keep on watching. We're gonna make it together. It's the first time I'm making it because I miss Baileys. And um, hopefully it's good. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a recipe here, it says um, 121 grams of sweetener, uh, espresso, it says 0 0.5 teaspoon of instant espresso powder, I don't have a powder, so I've got my espresso here, freshly made, then we need 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder, which we have, 476 grams of heavy cream, one teaspoon of almond extract which i don't have but i'm sure we can do without um then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and 295 grams of irish whiskey which i have um i got these today from sainsbury's yeah, this is bell's blended scotch whiskey I only got this because it was cheaper. This was discounted to 16 pounds and it's a liter. I mean, you get a lot for 16 pounds. I think it's about 20 pounds, the normal price. So I'm glad I got this. It's quite smoky. I don't know if it's supposed to be smoky or not. But yeah, I got these and uh, let's just mix everything in the pan. And obviously I got my pan and I got my plastic whisk because I don't want to scratch the pan and let's just start in the instructions it says Mommy. combine the sweetener espresso powder Mommy. cocoa and small saucepan well. yeah we do it later okay and then bring the mixture to a slow boil reduce heat slightly simmer for 10 15 minutes remove from the heat stir in extract of whiskey and cool down and store away and i'm sorry for the noises in the back uh, my girls are playing with play-doh that they got in the advent calendar today so let's just get started because i can't wait to start. i got my little scale here and first we're gonna go with the sweetener is 121 grams 
the one I'm using is this uh, total sweet Cylon this is the one I prefer is the cheapest sweetener um, also it looks like sugar it's granulated and it doesn't have them um, kind of aftertaste and it's pretty sweet as well so I'm going to add 121 grams then the coffee No, no, no. A tablespoon of cocoa powder. It's no. Taya, it's not that side. Now we need 476 grams of cream. And some vanilla extract. And now I'm going to mix it all nicely. And bring it to a very, like a small boil. Slow boil. Mm. It smells so nice. down and when it cools down it's gonna get thicker some people say that it, it gets too thick so if it gets too thick you can just um, add a little bit of almond milk and now the taste test yay! yay what you got let's see it's a bit hot it does smell very nice though Oh, it's so nice, but I think I may have made it a bit too strong. Mm. So nice. I need to put it in like in something smaller and put it in the fridge, and we'll see how it looks like when it's cooled down. Yeah, you got box. What is it you want to close? Um, but yeah, it tastes so so lovely and creamy. I mean, it's a lot of double cream anyway. Mm, so good. But I will probably go for like for a little bit less alcohol because this is strong. Like this is stronger than Bailey's, I think. Oh God, <coughs> this will get you drunk very quickly. Yes, baby. I actually have an empty bottle from Bailey's and um, I'm going to just put it in here and see how it's gonna work. Amy, be careful, it's hot. Oh, probably I should do this on top of the So Everything did fit inside one of these bottles and I will wait for it to cool down a little bit before I put it in the fridge because it's too hot to be put in the fridge and uh, oh i can't wait until it's ready it's going to be i mean after dinner because i like to have a little treat after dinner i mean not every day because this is too strong or oh, if you want to make it virgin like i said just use let me put the music a bit up oh no potato special just use some um, nut milk instead with some uh, whiskey essence also if you don't want to make it sugar free you can use condensed milk or you can use just normal sugar no it's been a few hours since i don't know if you can see me properly because it's night and uh, it's been a few hours since it's been in the fridge and you can see how nice and creamy is it Oh, it looks so good. Let's try it. 
It's so nice. Mm. Definitely, definitely recommend that you try the recipe. But probably go for a little bit less alcohol. It depends how strong you want it to be. It's a little bit too strong for my taste just because I like to enjoy my drink and have a little bit more than just a little bit sip. Um, but yeah, mm. this is so good. I definitely recommend. I'll leave um, all the ingredients and the instructions in the description box so you can go and check and make it for yourself. Also, it's only a fraction of the price because you only need to buy the double cream and out of a bot full bottle of whiskey you make few batches of these and this is so lovely and nice mm. very very nice definitely recommend i will end this video here it's a little bit less of a vlog today because i don't know i didn't do lots of interesting things today tomorrow i am going to do a little bit of self-care and maybe try and film a little bit more for you but yeah i'll leave you here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow love you leave you bye